Hundreds congregated in memory of the two victims, chanting and holding up candles. On the ground lay flowers from sympathizers. For some, the grief was all-consuming. The two men were shot and killed on Friday. The gunmen spent 12 rounds, then made sure they were dead by shooting both at point-blank range before escaping on a motorbike with an accomplice. Forensics officers have been scouring the scene for clues, and they've also reportedly found the motorbike that was used in the attack. Golden Dawn is ultra-nationalist and anti-immigration, and that stance seems to appeal to those who are feeling the brunt of the economic crisis in Greece. Its popularity is soaring. No group has claimed responsibility for the killings, but it is likely to be seen as a revenge attack for the recent murder of a left-wing musician by a Golden Dawn supporter. With no money, no jobs, and very little chance of change in the near future, the atmosphere in Athens is tense, to say the least. Politicians have appealed for calm, but if this violent attack is a revenge killing, who knows what the repercussions might be. Gronje Harrington, BBC News.